Hey YouTube, the Chunk Kids are back and in this episode we're going to show you how we made this trim piece to cover our curtain rack and how we made it look like one continuous piece. Amazing! Okay, we are back from Home Depot. I bought two of these uh, boards that are 1 by 6 by 10 feet long. So now tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and um, make some cuts to size. We're going to do some pocket holes and glue and screw them together. Um, we'll go ahead and add some wood filler, sand it down, stained, sealed, and mounted. These boards were already pretty smooth, so I just went ahead and sanded it with 120 grit followed by 220. Now I'm going to use my miter saw to cut an end off each board to make sure they're square. This way I can have a tight joint and the board will be nice and straight. After cutting the ends off with the miter saw, you can see how flush this is. It's a nice and tight joint that won't require much wood filler. Here I have one of my 10 foot boards set up on the Craig jig to go ahead and drill some pocket holes. Connecting the two 10 foot boards with glue and pocket hole screws wasn't enough, so I added these braces to the back for added structural stability. I used wood glue and 18 gauge brad nails and let them dry for 24 hours. Alright, I went ahead and marked out where the studs are and the ceiling. And I went ahead and took the measurements and I wrote them down. So we have here 12 inches, 60 and a half inches, 132 and 3 quarters, and 181. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these out here then take my square and draw a straight line that way it's going to be easy for me to um, drill the pocket holes take that same um, DAP plastic wood natural uh, wood filler it's stainable Just to give a reference on how long that board is, um, it's resting on an 8 foot concrete ping pong table, so it's pretty massive. I'll probably come back in a few a couple hours and sand that down. I'm back with the sander and I'm just using 220 grit. This is all stained. So it's ready for seal. Probably come back for that tomorrow. All right, I have the <clears throat> I have the trim piece propped up on a 2x4. So it matches the height of the Craig jig. I went ahead and drilled two pocket holes. One here, the other one here, and we have to drill two more. So here's the next one. You can see the line kind of coming through. And then go ahead and push this trigger. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you, Gray.
Another hole here, I'll tell you when to squeeze. Squeeze. All right. That was messy. It was messy, but dad's gonna clean it up. Good job. Thank you, buddy. You're See you later, alligator. All right, time to apply the polyurethane. Got my high quality foam brush. Uh, board is laid out. Getting ready to get started. Alright, first coat is down. Can't really tell because it's a satin finish. We're back for coat number two. All right, this is our third and final coat. Trim piece is done. We went ahead and sealed everything. And now we're coming over to the edge where we're gonna go ahead and glue and use some 18 gauge brad nails to connect this end bracket or the end cap. So I have my speed square here, I'm gonna make sure that's completely flush. I'll add some glue to this piece here and then we'll shoot a couple brad nails and it'll be ready to hang up on the ceiling. Now, one more. Go ahead. Good job. Is it supposed to do that? It sure is. Now it's connected here. And we're gonna get ready to put it on the ceiling, okay? All right, the final step, I'm gonna go ahead and take these um, two and a half inch screws get them set in the pocket holes and we'll be ready to drill them into the ceiling. So I'm just gonna set those here. Here's another look at the back where everything's connected. Not pretty, but you won't see this. It's nice and sturdy though. Now it's finally time to mount it to the ceiling. We made sure the distance of the trim piece was equal on both ends, which came out to about six and a quarter inches. After we confirmed the measurement, Lindsay held one end while I fastened the pocket hole screws. We really love how this turned out. The ceiling mounted curtain tracks and wood trim makes the ceiling look a lot taller than it is. Seeing it in person allows you to appreciate the dramatic effect that it creates. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and share it with a friend. We have endless indoor and outdoor DIY videos coming up. I'll post a link to the video we made reviewing and installing their curtain tracks. I'll also post a link to the tools I used in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and see you at the next video. What do you guys think of the Good. new curtain tracks? Good. And the cur um, curtains? They look cool. They do. Does that make the ceiling look super tall? You guys like the fire pit? We've got to finish that part. Do you mind? Ah! It's hot. Ah! It feels, it feels like it's hot. It, it is hot. It feels like it's burning my eyes. Oh, my right, boy. That's, that's scary. It's burning my eyes. Well, you better be careful. Yeah. Yeah.